Now, today marks the first anniversary of the death of George Floyd, whose murder by a policeman in the United States sparked the Black Lives Matter protests around the world, including many in this part of the world. Our reporter, Emmanuel Loney, has been speaking to young people in Greater Manchester as they reflect on the last 12 months. It was my first time going to a protest. I was 16 and I was very overwhelmed when I saw everybody. It was so comforting to see so many people of so many different races stand in solidarity. When I saw the scale of the protests around the world, I just felt so happy that everyone was getting involved. It was definitely a good thing to be part of, of the marches and to participate in them. Yeah, just be part of the change, even though it's not a big one, but it was a, it was a small step towards a huge change in the future. Them tell me, them tell me what they won't tell me. At the protest, I recited Checking Out Me History by John Agard because it highlighted what so many of us were campaigning for, which was that black history wasn't taught enough in our schools. But two sons over two, no, them never tell me about that. Two sons, a slave. In my opinion, colorism definitely exists. But I think the protest last year raised awareness within the black community that the darker shades are just the same as the license shades and we're all fighting for one cause. I had a racial experience at school where it changed me. I was traumatised. I feel like black women are put in a box. You know, we have to be outspoken and if we're not, people make fun of you, ridicule you for it. Uh, you're not black enough. But it makes me feel a bit angry when I, when I see footballers that have the same, you know, colour of skin as me racially getting abused week in, week out. We played it safe, we played for the draw and we were happy with it. Forms of racial abuse I've encountered recently. I gave my opinion on a football match, on a football player in particular, and instantly I received racial abuse online. People telling me to go back to my country, sending me emojis of a particular animal, telling me not to turn up at a certain stadium because if they see me, they will do something to me. In the past year, I've seen many changes in the world around me, in my community and at my college. We're talking more about race and issues, we're more sensitive, learning about Afro hair and education to people who are not black as well. I want us all to know more about racism and not necessarily about racism and slavery but the, the, the cultures and everything. I feel like we need to highlight more on the victories of black people. I was happy for the family of George Floyd um, because I think for them it means a lot because at the end of the day, they've lost a friend, a family member, a father, a brother, 